Alrighty, do you perhaps have a Word document that you need to edit to professional standards? You're wondering how to do it? Well, I'm going to run you through a quick tutorial, show you exactly how to do that. Or you might also be curious about whether editing is a work that you can do and wondering how to do it. Well, this video will also show you how to do that. So I've got a document here in front of me that has a few errors. We're going to work our way through it, correct some of them, and you'll learn exactly how to do it. With that said, let's jump in. So here's a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And this document has got some errors in it. Now, the first thing to understand with editing in Word is that we want to find a way to let the author know what changes we've made. If we just make changes without tracking them, the author can't see what we've done. The client might think that we haven't done anything or they won't be aware of perhaps errors that we've introduced. So we want to allow them to see it. And the way to do that is to use Word's Track Changes feature. How do we do that? Well, you've opened the document, go up to the ribbon, and here click Review. That opens a Review tab. This is where you'll do most of your editing work. Then over here, Track Changes, just click that. Alrighty, so now all the changes in the document will be tracked. Let's see how that works. In a distant village, nestled behind the big forest, lived a young girl. Okay, so here's some things already I want to change. I don't know if we need the word big. I'm going to highlight it and just click delete. So there you see it now shows in red color with a strike through, indicating it has been deleted. Here's another little spelling mistake. The forest should only have one R. Let's delete that. Okay. And then towards the end of the sentence, I know villages should be villagers. So I'm going to insert something. Oh, villages. So you see how easy it is. You just add and delete and track changes, tracks the changes. Fairly simple, okay? That's how you'll go through your whole document. What happens now if you want to ask the author for their opinion or for guidance? So here I have a paragraph which I'll highlight now. And I don't think this paragraph really belongs in the story. It is side information. I think the author should delete it. What I could do is just click the delete button and go ahead and boldly delete it. But because it's a relatively major change, I would rather ask the author for their opinion first. So in this case, I'm going to just control Z to undo that change. And what I will do instead is put a margin comment to the author. So I've highlighted the text. I'm going to go up to the ribbon again, click New Comment. You'll see in the right uh, comment box opens. I'll click in it and type a comment. In this case, I've already prepared the comment. And it says, I think this is non-essential information that distracts from the story. Can we delete it? And I'll just click Post. Cool. So now we have a comment for the author. So I'll go through adding more comments and making more changes. Okay, that's the main thing I want to show you. I'm not going to do anything more on this document, but the basic thing is you get the picture, make your changes, make margin comments, add and delete as you go. Now, when you've reached the end of that version, you want to send it back to the author for them to check your changes and to respond to your margin comments. Okay. So I have prepared a document which shows what it looks like when it comes back. And we'll switch over to that right now. Okay, now I've got the document back from the author. Let's take a look. You'll notice that there are now two colors. There's my changes in red. And there are some more changes that I didn't show you. I just made them after I made the first part of the video. And then you'll notice also that there's parts that are in blue. So what does blue mean? Well, blue is what the uh, author has done. So you can quickly and clearly see what they've changed. Let's look at the first thing here, the first, which is our uh, margin note. If I click in it, it highlights the margin note on the right, where I said, I think this is non-essential information that distracts from the story, can be deleted. And the author, Joe Bloggs, has said, agreed, I've deleted it. We know he's deleted it because it now shows as strike through. What I'm going to do here with this comment, okay, I'm satisfied with his comment. I don't need it anymore, so I'm going to click this little... Um, button and click delete thread. 
Good, we've got rid of that uh, comment. We don't need it. Now, okay, so this is showing us uh, crossed out. We'll come back to it later, what to do with that. Let's just continue with the document. Here's another one. Um, I'd originally asked him, this word trinkets doesn't sound right. As you can see here, my margin notes is, not sure about this word trinkets. Did you mean something else? And he said treats. Yeah, so he's changed it to treats. He's crossed out my trinkets <laughs> and written in the word treats. How do I know he wrote that? It's because it's in blue. Okay, so you'll see what the author has done in a different color. Now, because I've highlighted this word, word automatically opens this little pop-up and says accept or reject suggestion. In this case, I'm going to click that little arrow to accept it. So now you'll see basket of treats. It was basket of trinkets, not basket of treats. Okay, so I've accepted the author's change there. So I accepted that change, but what about the rest of the changes in the document? Well, what I like to do is come back to the top, the beginning of the document, and then work through each change. You've got to work through each change, accept it, and check it. Now, the way to do that is up here in the ribbon with your accept and your reject buttons. If I click accept, it will take me to the first change. And if I agree with that change, I can just click accept. So you see there, it accepted the change on the word forest, and it automatically jumps to the next change. That was where I changed in the word villages, I added an R. Now, it can be a bit of a nuisance if it keeps jumping to the next change, if you've got a long document. If you want to only accept the change that's highlighted, just click this little down pointing arrow and accept, or and click rather, accept this change. Okay, so I see there it's accepted the change in the word villages, but it hasn't moved on. What I can do then is I can manually put my cursor at the next change and click accept. Here I'm just going to click accept again, that I'm happy with. Now we come to this big change that the author made. So I want to slow down a bit here. And I'm going to click accept this change. Reason why, because I want to check it. So there's something you've got to do. Check all the changes quite carefully, because often little gremlins get left in the mix. For instance, can you see what's happening here? Uh, there's a full stop that got left out. If I click Control Z to go back to what it was, the author just deleted the section that I'd highlighted, but I didn't highlight that little full stop at the end. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm, click, I'm going to click Accept. That full stop is there, so I'm going to go before it, and I'm going to delete it. Okay, so I should have done this before. It's not track the change. I don't want it to track changes anymore. So what I'm going to do, go up to Riven, click on Track Changes to deactivate it. I don't want changes tracked now because this is like the final version. I'll just backspace out of that, delete. Alrighty, what, okay, so what happens if we want to reject a change that we've made? Well, here's one in the sentence. The original text was, uh, exchange attended goodbye kiss with your mother. I changed it to kiss your mother goodbye. Although it was a simpler uh, phrasing. Just say I've had second thoughts about that. What I can do is if I click into it, and this pop-up will open, and I can just click um, X to reverse the change. Easy as that. <laughs> you can also click Reject here at the top in the ribbon. It'll do the same thing. Okay. I'm going to click Accept to go to the next change. I'm going to accept that. Accept. And there's one more. Accept. Pop-up box says there aren't any track changes in your document. Good. That means we've come to the end. Delete that space. So that's the essentials of editing in Microsoft Word. Now, if you want to take this further, I do have an editing course which you might be interested in. It's on Udemy. Let's have a quick look. So here we have Become a Copy Editor and Proofreader Complete Course. This is going to give you the core skills and technical knowledge to work as a copy editor or proofreader. So it's, a, it's about three and a half hours, but in this time, you're going to learn everything you need to know to get started as a professional editor or proofreader. So some of the things we'll look at is um, how to edit. 
And that's that's what I've just showed you. Just to, we're going to break it down a little bit further in the course, a little bit more detail. We're going to go into some spelling. And here's the thing: I've kept it non-boring, okay? Because some of this can be really, really boring. <laughs> I've kept it short, focusing only on the essentials of what you need to know. Spelling, but grammar essentials here as well. Just just pared down to what an editor needs to know. You don't need to know the whole grammar book, believe me. Just the essentials. Punctuation. You know, learn a lot of useful stuff here. Punctuation. This will give you a lot of confidence that you can go and edit any document. Okay. Other editing issues and then setting up your editing business. Some bonus material there. Now, this is like really well priced between $10 and $20 on Udemy. So if this interests you, if you want to learn more about it, just hop over to Udemy and grab it. I'll put the link in the description below this video. Alrighty, I hope that helped you. I hope it gets you going with editing. Um, great, and I look forward to seeing you on the course if you decide to join me there.